Hello everyone, Coach Diego Miranda. I'm the coach for the U10 Boys Orange team and I'm also the coach for the U15 Boys Blue team. I wanna send over a couple of activities that you could practice at home. You don't need a lot of space. All you need is a 10 by 10 box plus a couple cones. Uh, we're gonna use this space for a warm up. Same space we're gonna utilize for the next couple of activities that we'll work on today. Um, for the warm up, we're gonna focus on dribbling, taking a lot of touches using the inside part of the foot using the outside part of the foot, using your sole. We want to draw around, get comfortable with the ball. We'll introduce a couple of skills, one versus one skills. Uh, we'll introduce the fake take and also the ball and push. And then after that, we'll talk about the two activities that will be related to today's topic, which is passing. All right, so for the warm up, we're gonna draw around the, this box for about a minute. Use the inside part of your foot, outside part of your foot, your sole. If you're running out of space, change directions, use a drag bike, use a croif, use an arm move, be creative, just make sure that you draw around the box for one minute. And then once you complete the minute, you come back right here, then we're gonna keep going, okay? So ready, start dribbling. Again, I start with my outside, change direction, drag back, go with the inside, I start using my sole, use my right foot, Change with the drive, I change with the drive, but inside, my outside. Let's say, be creative, dribble around the field. Change your exit again, and then you have choice. Dribble down this way, do an elbow, change directions, use my right foot, dribble around. Once I complete that minute, I come back here, and I'm gonna start with sore rolls. So I'm gonna start doing sore rolls. I want to complete 20 sole rolls and then I'm going to draw around for 30 seconds. So, once you complete those 20 sole rolls, you're going to draw around. And then we create it. Use the inside part of your foot, use the outside part of your foot. Change your rolls if you're running out of space. Just 30 seconds. Once you complete those 30 seconds, you come back here and then you're going to start doing some toe taps. Alternate right, left, right, left. You can move backwards, you can move forward. Once you complete 20, then you're gonna draw a run again for 30 seconds. Again, okay, be creative using your soul, right foot, left foot, right out of space, run that for 30 seconds. You stop. And now this time you're gonna go foundation touches. You can move backwards, you can move forward. Once you complete 20, you go for another 30 seconds. Once you complete that, you can stop, you can relax, drink some water. And now we're gonna introduce a couple 1v1 skills, okay? Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna introduce the 1v1 skills. We're gonna perform the same skills that Coach Johnny showed you guys last week. We want repetition, make sure that you guys are getting comfortable with those two skills. And then as we keep progressing, we'll keep adding different skills. But for now, we're gonna still work on the fake take and also in the roll and push. Okay, so for the fake take, you're going to fake one side, fake as if you're going one side, drop your body, drop your shoulder, drop your foot, plant your foot on the ground, and with the opposite foot, take it with the outside part of the foot, take it into space and dribble away from the defender. Okay, so that's the fake take, all right? So you're gonna dribble around, dribble around and go towards that cone, okay? Very important to, as you're getting close to the cone, slow down, perform the fake. As soon as you take the ball away into space, don't forget to accelerate, okay? Dribble away from the defender, dribble into space, okay? So. Do it for about a minute, so you're gonna start dribbling. As I'm getting close to the defender, I take and I take. And I go around and I come back here again. Slow down, fake, take, and keep going. And as you're getting comfortable, you should do a little bit faster. So now this time, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Take and take. I keep going. Okay, so now this time, I'm gonna fake to my right. I'm gonna take to my left. Also, very important to work on both sides. First time, fake right, take left. The next time, fake left, 
take rice. So alternate. Right? So this time I'm going to take left and I'm going to take right. Coming back, I'm going to fake right, take left. Right? Notice how I'm doing it slow so you guys can see it, but as you're getting comfortable with it, you should add more speed. You should be a little bit faster, but don't forget, don't get too close to the fender. Slow down as you're getting close to the fender so you can perform the fake and the take. And that's a fake take right there. So the next skill is the pull and push. So same thing, we want to alternate. We're going to start with the right foot. It's going to be the foot that we're going to pull the ball over. And the left foot, you're going to push it forward. Okay, so pull it and push forward. All right, so again, I'm going to go slow. I'm going to with my right foot. I'd like to pull it to the limit. I'm going to pull the ball across my body, and I'm going to push forward with my left foot. So again, I'm dribbling. As I get closer to the fender, I slow down. I roll the ball across my body and I push forward with my left foot. Okay? Very important to roll across your body. It has to be a good roll across the body so we could get past the defender and then we could take a touch into space forward. Okay? So again, I also want you to alternate. Right now, both of the sides I did it with my right foot, pull with the right, push with the left. Now this time, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to pull with my left and push with my right. So, I look like this. I'm getting closer. Pull and push. And then I come back again. Dribble, dribble. Pull and push. Okay? So again, as you're getting comfortable with the skills, add more speed. Get faster. Get quicker. Alright, so now that we have completed our warm-up and have worked on the, the two skills, it's time to go into our activities. Like I said, today's topic is passing. As you know, passing is a very important part of the game. You need to understand the proper technique to pass the ball using always the inside part of the foot, right? So make sure that you're planting your support foot, planting your support foot close to the ball. We don't want to plant our support foot behind the ball or in front of the ball. When I plant it, next to the ball close by make sure that there's a little gap between your foot and the ball and then you're gonna use the inside part of your foot to make sure that there's enough power and there's enough accuracy okay okay so for our first activity we're gonna focus on pace making sure that our pass has enough pace to get to our teammates foot right we want to make sure that whether our teammates 5 10 20 25 yards away from us that our pass has enough pace so it gets to our teammates so it doesn't get intercepted. If your pass doesn't have enough pace, what's going to end up happening, the ball is going to stay in between you and your teammate, and in the real game, it's going to end up being intercepted by the other team. Okay, so we want to make sure that when we pass the ball to a teammate, that our pass has a proper technique, as I showed you before, but it also has pace. Pace, meaning that it has enough strength to get to my teammate, to get to where I want to kick the ball to okay so in this exercise <clears throat> we're gonna use a wall which as you see in the back i set up a table i flip the table that's going to be my acting wall if you have a wall at home where you can kick the ball uh, to you can use that for today's exercise we're gonna use that table as my wall i set up three cones as you can see three blue cones there i have level one level two and level three What I want you to do right now is work on your passing, okay? You're gonna control the ball with the inside part of the foot and you're gonna pass it back with the inside part of the foot. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to first goal, level one. Now I'm gonna start with my right foot. I pass it with the inside part of the foot. Control it with the inside. Pass it, control. Pass with the inside, control with the inside. I wanna do that 10 times. After I complete that 10 times, I'm going to go over to my left foot. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be on my toes. I'm going to pass the ball with the inside. Control with the inside. Play it back with the inside. Control. Play it back with the inside. After I complete 10 of those, then I'm going to move up to level 2. So what I want you to work on is 
the pace of that pass, okay? If my pass doesn't have enough pace, it's not going to come back to me. It's gonna hit the wall and it's gonna stay in between the wall and myself. If the pass has too much pace, it's gonna hit the wall and it's gonna come back to me so hard that I'm not gonna be able to control the wall, right? So we need to understand that the pass has to have enough pace to get to my teammate and it has to be a pass that my teammate could control it as well, okay? We don't wanna give our teammate a pass that he or she will not be able to control, right? So now level two, I'm gonna come back again here. I start with my right foot, I'm on my toes. Inside part of my foot, I keep moving, control it, play it back. Inside part of my foot, control it, play it back. Inside part of my foot, and then again, I'm gonna go three ten on up. I'm down here and go back to my left foot. I'm gonna do the same thing. Inside part of my foot, control. Inside part of my foot, control. Inside part of my foot, control. Once I get to ten of those. Then I'm gonna move up to level number three. Again, so I'm gonna go back to level two and show you if my pass doesn't have enough pace, what's gonna happen? Ball stays in between. I have to go meet the ball. In a real game, the ball is going to get intercepted by the other team. Now, if your pass has too much pace, now I need to Try to control the ball now, my teammate has to spend more time in trying to control the ball, right? So that's what we want to understand. A pass that has enough pace to get to me and I'll be able to control it. So again, once we have completed that, we're going to move on to level number three. We'll do the same thing. Start with the right foot, pass, control, pass, control, 10 times with your right foot. And you're gonna do the same thing 10 times with your left foot. Great. Now that you have completed all three levels, I would like for you to time yourself to see how long it takes you to complete each level. And then challenge yourself by trying to beat your time at each level. So for activity number two, we're gonna work on accuracy. I removed the three cones that we had in the middle and I place them down here in a little triangle, which is going to be our starting point. I also added three targets, target number one, target number two, and target number three, which is going to be the blue cone in front of the wall. I want you to relate this activity to the game. So if I'm the right defender, target number one will be my right midfielder, target number two will be my center midfielder, and target number three will be my striker. For this activity, we're also going to incorporate the two 1v1 skills that we practiced today, which are the fake and take and the pull and push. So we're gonna start at the bottom of the two cones. We're gonna dribble through the cones. Right before we get to the top cone, we're gonna perform the fake and take, and we're gonna look for target number one. We're gonna come back, get another ball, dribble through the cones again, perform another fake and take, look for target number two, We'll come back again, dribble through the cone, perform the fake take, and look for target number three. Okay, so we're gonna start. Dribble, fake take, and look for target number one. Come back again, another ball. Dribble through the cone, fake take, and find target number two. Then you come back again, dribble, fake take, and find target number three do that three times and then you could also work on your left foot fake right take left look for target one look for target number two and look for target number three then we're gonna progress to working to working with the pull and push okay so we're gonna come back again we're gonna dribble through the cones again right before get to the phone we're gonna pull push and look for target number one we'll do the same thing for target number two pull push look for target number two and come back and do the same thing with target number three 
Complete three of those, and then you could also work on your left foot. When you work with your right foot, pull with your left, push with your right. When you work with your left foot, pull with your right, push with your left. I hope you have fun with this practice, and remember, always pass with pace and accuracy. I hope to see you soon.